nothing in the world will ever happen hundred percent your way. This one percent must happen your way. Your body and your brains cooperate best only when your experience of life is pleasant. This being the most complex chemical factory, we can teach you how to be a great manager of this factory so that you are always absolutely blissed out. Hey Sadhguru, my question is, so many times in society you are often told what should make you happy and in a way we are followers. I wanted to find out your opinion on what should make a person essentially happy. So what is it or what does it mean to be truly happy? Namaskaram KG, uh, I'm sorry to tell you that uh, my April trip to South Africa has been postponed, riding on the virus. <laughs> so you know the situation. But about happiness, I was just telling them this is mango season in India and maybe in some parts of Africa also, but you can't compare Indian mango to anything. Well, now when we go near a mango tree, this is a time when all the young boys and girls are looking. Parrots are also here, they're all looking up for the mangoes. This is the direction we're looking, because that's where sweetness is. Suppose you go under the mango tree and start digging, is there any chance of you ever eating a mango, I'm asking? Is it possible? So what we need to understand is, human experience is caused from within us. No matter what, joy or misery, agony or ecstasy, pain or pleasure is caused from within us. But we are trying to fix the world so that we are happy. See, we thought we are fixing it, just a silly virus. Our whole life's going to an upheaval. So right now, uh, all our programs cancelled and uh, much financial loss all over the place because we booked major event uh, spaces and so much has been done, volunteers have worked everywhere. Now it's just up in the air, we cannot even say when we will do it. This is the time to get into depression <laughs> because everybody says if things don't happen the way you think they should happen, you must be miserable. Nothing in the world will ever happen hundred percent your way. This one person must happen your way, one hundred percent. If this one happened hundred percent your way, would you keep yourself blissful or miserable? That's all the question is. I know what's your choice. You are asking this question because as you said, people say, this will make you happy, that will make you happy, fix this, fix that, fix that, fix everything. Still it will not happen because you are trying to dig mangoes from the roots. That's not where it comes, it comes up there. So what is within you, if you search for it outside, it's going to be an endless search. This is why we are talking about inner engineering. You fix this one. Being joyful is assured. Rest of the life we have to do to the best of our ability. No two human beings can do outside life to the same extent. It's never possible. No two human beings can ever do it the same way when it comes to the world. But if you are joyful, you will do your best and that's all that matters in this life or you're doing your best in every possible way. You can only do that if you are happy and joyful by your own nature. If your happiness depends upon what is happening around you, 
whether you get a wicket or not, you were just about to play Australia, is it? Hmm? Got cancelled, huh? India. Oh, they're playing India. Now I can't even wish you luck <laughs> Now, uh, you can bowl and play the game to your best only when your physical body and your intelligence cooperates with you. It doesn't take any scientific understanding. If you make a sensible evaluation of yourself, you can clearly see that your body and your brains cooperate best only when your experience of life is pleasant, which is what you're calling as happiness. Happiness is not some quantity, it's just that you're feeling very pleasant, so you say, I'm happy. Your pleasantness should be determined by what's happening within you, not by what's happening around you. This is not difficult to fix. You see people who are miserable or so many different ways, all kinds of people who can't laugh, who can't sing, who can't dance, who can't do nothing sensible, they have a drink and suddenly... So I'm saying chemistry can change one's experience. This being the most complex chemical factory, we can teach you how to be a great manager of this factory so that you are always absolutely blissed out, now your body and brains will function at your best. Depending upon what sort of work you're doing, how much success you find, depends who you're playing the game with. Now you're playing with India, cancelled, but if you did, then whichever way you bowl, some of them hit it out of the boundary. <laughs> the boys have become like that these days. <laughs> there was a time, in five days, if once the ball crossed the boundary, without pitching, I mean, if it's a six, oh, the whole country celebrated. Now in five minutes, if there is no six, everybody is getting frustrated, what's happening here <laughs> So things have changed, bowlers get batter, battered, but at the same time, because they are trying to go so fast, bowlers also have a good time because the pace is so high. So your happiness should not depend on how many Indian batsmen get out. I don't like that <laughs> Your happiness should be that you're just happy, because of that you are doing the best possible bowling that you can do. KG, all the best for you <laughs> Oh, it's a dangerous thing talking to a South African player now.